There's a time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels. And you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. Today at Berkeley, the words of free speech leader Mario Savio are coming true. Last night, a thousand students began a sit-in here in Sproul Hall. At 3 a.m., police began hauling the limp trespassers off to jail. These were the bodies in the wheels. Now, 12 hours later, the big teaching machine has come to a halt. Outside the hall, various orators with word from inside pass the news on to the crowd. Well, for my generation, civil rights is the big cause. When these people banned civil rights organizations on campus, it was like religious persecution because this civil rights movement is our religion. Well, look, not everybody here is a true believer. There, there are a lot of people who say they're for civil rights, but they don't agree with, with certain kinds of tactics, uh, like this strike. But the really important disagreement is between the conservatives and the social activists. The conservatives say students don't have the time to meddle in these affairs. We don't agree with that position. Do you want it? Oh! All right, sir. 